tell them how you feel. <laughs> oh, I feel like it's the show. I, I was just laughing at the intro. Oh, I haven't. I, I panicked. I had no idea. I was not prepared for a song in the moment. So I just <laughs> picked the first one that sang to me. Sang. That sang to me. That was you know, my, That's kind of how I feel on a Monday morning. When you're rolling with Jazz and Jazz. We are young. <laughs> heartache to heartache. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Wow. Good morning. Yep. Happy Whoa, Monday. Whoa, hello. I bet you wanted it a little more soft and quiet, but especially you California people, 5.30 a.m., waking up it. to a little pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> Thank me later. Thank me later. When you have that song in your head and it's pumping you up at 1 p.m. <laughs> well, welcome in, everybody. Well, it's going to be a good day today. Might as well make it a good day, good week, good month. Let's go. Right. Monday. It's Monday. Time to get it. That means it's the Living Good Daily Show. A little motivation. Get you moving. Blink, 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 get blink, some blink. momentum for the week. You want some coffee, boy? Yes. Hope you get your coffee. <laughs> Cheers to your faces. When did we ever start doing that? Cheers to your face. We used to do that all the time. I know. I don't know why we did that. I don't know. We used to dance all the time, too. You know, I was thinking, we used to dance all the time. You know why I was thinking that? I don't know the song, but do you know what that song is called that everyone's dancing to right now? Brooks and Dunn? Yeah. Do you know what it is? I, that's what I was going to go with, but I couldn't get it it's, fast enough. It's just the TikTok world we live in, sweetie. I know. There's a new one every couple weeks. I know, and I love it. You know what I just learned? Fancy like. <laughs> <laughs> totally six Always weeks ago. Always a few months behind, but... <laughs> We just love dancing, but Wait, not who's like we. You talk about the kids, me. Well, you love watching us dance. There you go. <laughs> now we're good. Yes, I enjoy it. Yeah, I did just learn fancy like a little behind. You know, if one of the first times I ever we ever like kind of danced on the show. If you were one of the original Living Good Daily crew, you know what I'm talking about. We used to sing and dance all the time on the show, didn't we? Maybe not on a show, but like I would always post it. We would always have the latest and greatest, like church clap. Three years later, you make it sound like we got up and did a performance. I mean, by dance, it well, was like anyone that's new doesn't know. Maybe that, that was it. It was never that. <laughs> Do you have anything to talk about today? Before so I you can know, stop well, rambling. How about you try to just give us a throwback Monday, and you just do your best on. Well, give me some Brooks and Dunn. But what? I don't, weren't you playing it earlier? Nope, that was not me. No? To the kids? No, you were just dancing earlier. <laughs> the music was in your head. That's right. Oh, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, peeps. It's Dr. Living Good. It's Nurse Living Good. I won't be dancing. Oh, but it's the hip-hop version of this right oh. now. It's like a... But yeah, that's the right song. I mean, you can just go with that because I don't no. think you're going to be able to get the other one. Is it called like Remix? No, but it's... Guys, sorry. I will figure this out. Go for it. I mean, you can just, yeah, it's, you can play that one. It's fine. It works. It's, it's, you're, you're just slightly off with the, you're a mom. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is I don't know. correct. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. And the whole world turns. Wow. What I'm going to do is work on that. Marie, and I'll be back. Marie from Georgia. Is she anywhere close? You feel like you're southern country girl. Okay. Now I'm sweating <laughs> and I'm ready to listen to you. Talk. All the shows are on uh they're right here on the page. You can just scroll down and go to past oh, go shows to videos, and, right? We well, can go to videos too on the page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh no, all the shows are in, in aren't they still um in a folder somewhere? What are they in the thing in feed in the You can go to videos and then you can also just scroll down the page. Find all the shows. Scrolling. YouTube or Facebook. What's up, YouTube, by the way? Uh, so, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. We got some newbies on here. We got to catch them up. This isn't just a dance party on Mondays. <laughs> kind of. That's is. why I show we'll up. We'll get you going for the week. And then he does I'll his get thing. you motivated. You know, we do our thing. Wednesday, uh, I'm seeing health questions flash by. 8.30 a.m. right here. The Ask DLG show, part of the Living Good Daily show. And then on Fridays, get some... Just some more just Wild Fridays. Wild yeah. card. Well, it's what you need to know. Just facts. Facts on Friday. Sometimes it's food on Friday. Sometimes it's a field trip on Friday. It's just all kinds of 
Friday stuff. Whatever we're feeling Friday. Whatever you're feeling on Friday. Feeling it Friday. <laughs> feeling good. It's the living goods on Friday. We'll have to work on the title of that. Who passed away? Huh? Someone says, oh, I hadn't heard he passed away. Well, thanks. I love your energy, too. Yes. Good morning, Smith JL from Florida. Florida. Okay. Well. Well, are you ready for this? I'm ready. Hold on. Let me get my yeah. in my position. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you going for the week. My helpful position. While you're talking, neon light, neon moon, mm -hmm. remix. Remix is what you're looking for? Mm -hmm. It's pretty popular right now. That's probably the one at the top. It's usually at the top. That's not Brux and Dunn. Uh, Yeah, but it's still going to contain. Is this what the kids are dancing to nowadays? I'm not really sure what's happening. You really got to start doing this stuff before we get to the show, really you know? I feel like it's helping you get prepared for your... Here it comes. Slow. Slow out of the gates. I don't think I could dance to that. I don't know. It's TikTok. It's TikTok. We, did you have a show to do? I do. Let me... Did you have DJ and you need to practice? I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Put in some headphones. I'm going to do the show. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that to you. Well, it's okay. So we're in week three. Mm -hmm. Week four. Start of week four. Yep. Of our challenge. Challenges happen every four weeks. We're live with the next challenge next Monday. I know I just got my yes. notification to join the next crew already. I'm like, I just joined this yes. one. Two six in the house. 326 coming up soon. So we're going to be rolling over that. But we got some stuff to do this week. We're going to do some juicing. We're going to do some cleansing. Yeah, people were preparing for that already. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm in. Green juice all day. Let's go. Two days. I'll if drink you're feeling some green it. juice. Three days if you really get the momentum going. Flush it out. Sometimes it's a position of like you could just you could discontinue all your supplements and NSAIDs and junk that you're taking. You probably can't I can't tell you to stop taking your medication, but you could pause even for some of that stuff and like really just let the body do its thing, add them back in, or you could keep taking supplements and things during that time. So I've done both. I get that question a lot. Yeah, I know do this you ever take a break, a break from your supplements? Right, sure. but that's where we're at in week four, which means we're kind of starting to gear up for the next challenge later this week. Resetting goals, resetting focuses. I just wonder how many people are out there that have this, like, let me ask you. How many of you have ever been so close to breakthrough, a goal, an aspiration, something with your health, something with some kind of aspiration that you have, and then you self-sabotage yourself, and then it all crumbles and you go back to their direction. Like, you're so close to hitting it or right at it, you're there, and then you go back the other direction. How many of you have experienced this before? Am I the only one? Am I the only self-sabotager? Am I the only one with a thermostat that is set at 72 degrees and then, or 69 or whatever it is, and then it gets too warm, it kicks it off, comes back, it gets too cold, kicks it off, comes back. You're always just resetting back to that thermostat that's inside of you. Yes, self-sabotagers? I wanna give you the adjustment that needs to be made. Oh, see what I did there? Just that little, oh my goodness! Little, just adjusted. I remember back in the day, it was a round one on the wall. Come on, who had one of these? Who still has one of these, right? And you didn't, you didn't exactly know, but you just kind of just tapped it just a little bit, and then mom and dad would get mad at me and my brother if we, hey, hey who, who turned it down? <laughs> you know, like because we went. Sometimes I wish we still had those, because sometimes those other ones confuse me on their auto yeah. schedules that don't work. <laughs> It does. You have to read a manual now just to adjust the temperature of the house. When I could have just went, and it, it was a little dial on the wall, right? A little, little, little turn, little turn. That's all it was. I grew up with no AC in the house. You did? Yep. Didn't have AC until I was in high school. Really? And then in the winter, we didn't run off heat in the thermostat. Oh, the we ran off wood stove. Hmm. It's Iowa. I mean, I'm from Iowa, too. And you want to be warm Iowa. this winter, boy? Let's go cut some wood. <laughs> it wasn't and really that bad. But, but you had no to. dishwasher. I was the dishwasher. How about Still that? are. Still are, she says. hey -oh. But this little, little adjustment. 
right? I got sidetracked there, but I had a tape of the childhood. The little adjustment <laughs> to stop you from coming up short and finally reach your goal. So it, maybe you are just starting off, but you've experienced periods of times in the past of failure, right? So I want to get you more concerned about one thing today, your alignment, your alignment. Instead of being more concerned, I almost called this, what are you more concerned with? I want to get you concerned with your alignment today and make an adjustment to that. My goal is to make an adjustment through that quarter inch of skull this morning. Are you more concerned though about what you don't have right now? Are you more concerned about what's confusing you right now? Something new you're having to learn or some, are you more concerned with the mountain and the looks of it and how high it is versus taking your next step? Are you more concerned on what is going to be difficult or perceived as difficult in your head? You'd be shocked how much stuff we think is gonna be super hard and actually our brain sort of likes hard things. Human beings get a lot of fulfillment out of hard things. Are you more focused on what you failed at in the past, the fact that you have self-sabotaged? Are you more concerned with all of those things, how you failed, how you've not achieved it, what obstacles are in your life that are holding you back as opposed to what is getting me out of alignment because sometimes what i'm i'm more focused on the barriers the situation the circumstances the what he shit said she said the i can't do where i can't go my limitations i tried that i did this i climbed that that was hard this was difficult i failed there i'm not going down that road again i'm not entering a fight i can't win that's how i am as opposed and i do this a lot and we do this with the kids we'll talk about it in a moment to focusing on what's getting me out of alignment I want you to ask this question this morning. What's getting me out of alignment? Kids get crabby. They're not being nice. They're fighting with each other. They're, they're not listening. They're not eating their food properly. They're not going to bed on time. What's getting them out of alignment is a question that we ask all the time as parents. Because with kids, it's usually fairly simple there wasn't enough food, there wasn't enough rest, there was too much garbage, sugar, toxins, whatever going in, or way too much negative stimulation, like a TV or a device or something that they should have been in front of. What's getting them out of alignment? And as soon as we remove those factors that we put in their way, that we allowed them to get exposed to, well, it was, you know, grandpa was in town, well, we were busy, well, it was just, you know, it was, it was, it was fall break, it was whatever it was. How did we get them out of the, am I the only parent, grandparent that, <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? How did we get them out of, the focus then is more on what did we do to get them out of alignment as opposed to, gosh, we just stop picking on your sister. We you just stop screaming. We you just stop, we just go to bed. We you get back in your room. We you... just stay in there. So I want you to ask what's getting me out of alignment? Put your focus on what's throwing you off. You know what it is. Let me help you identify. Here's my top five, okay? Environment. Mm -hmm. Environment. Man, environment can Huge. throw me out of alignment so fast. I get around a lot of a negative people. I get around a lot of people that don't have health as a priority, don't have God as a priority, don't have family as a priority. You. You shut down. Really you start, fast. well, I either <laughs> shut down or you start acting in a way or doing or going in a direction that you normally don't go. You got bad influence. You got bad, whatever it may be. Now, as an adult, maybe as a, as when I was younger, I would go to that direction, but now I just shut down and I just, I'm like the mule that's just stubborn and won't go. <laughs> just, no, I don't want to be around this environment right now. If you happen to live, with that environment <laughs> that sometimes it's difficult to change but you can adjust the environment adjust the influence that you're under some of you your environment is primarily on a device that you're feeding yourself 
each day. You might need to just adjust and hold down the app button until it flashes and shakes at you and then you can just hit the X and delete it. That might be the adjustment you need to make. But not when we're on. Except when we're, except for Monday mornings at 8.30. <laughs> your environment, the environment. What's your environment? Adjust the influence. You need an adjustment to the influence. So instead of how hard, instead of how confusing, instead of how far, instead of, you have to get your priorities back in alignment. This is the stuff I believe that pulls a lot of people off track. This is the stuff that gets you so close to goals and then you self-sabotage. There is an alignment issue for what you actually value. And it's usually not the big values. You just align with a stress-free environment. You align with positive influence. You align with healthy things going in your head. I don't, if, if I get books and sermons and podcasts and healthy music, it changes my environment. That's just one example of adjusting the influence. What's your intake? What are you feeding up here? Second thing, to help get you in alignment. What gets you out of alignment? Breaking a habit. Mm -hmm. Isn't it so much easier to keep a habit and just keep going with it than it is to try to get it started again. Oh, this happened all of this so often. It's like, I just would rather just, it's why partially I love this show. I was thinking about it this morning. It's like, I'm not always feeling it when it comes into like, I wanna be there for my people, but I have an appointment with you at 8.30 a.m. and I'm not breaking the habit on Monday morning. I might not be feeling it to answer a hundred questions on Wednesdays, but I have an appointment with you to, there's an alignment there. And when I come out of the other side, I'm like, ah, oh, I needed that. Just as much as you might've needed that. It's us working together. That's a small example of there's an alignment issue. Where did you break a habit? Don't do it, don't do it. Adjust your schedule. Adjust the schedule, that's what fixes a lot of bad habits. We'll, we'll start creeping with our, our nighttime hangout <laughs> or nighttime, like maybe we'll throw a show on or something. Or hang, and it just, <laughs> it just kind of just, it just creep. And all of a sudden you're like, hey, this one will get it every time. Like her internal clock has completely busted. It cannot be repaired. <laughs> it's like the old grandfather clock that hangs on the wall for looks now. It doesn't work inside of her. And it's always this, it's what time? <laughs> <laughs> what like oh my gosh and I'm like what what is there it's a spider is it a bug it's 10 p.m. already <laughs> it's a shocking response I'm like you you were that far off in the the old internal there that you didn't know it, you're out we were off an hour like I mean it's like I, I can probably get it within 10 to 15 <laughs> minutes pretty much all day long Pretty much, I'm the guy at the fair that's just like, I guess the time within 15 minutes. <laughs> this one's two hours off. Like just somehow it's like, I thought it was one. Sweetie, it's almost dinner time. My gosh. <laughs> I guess I love me because I am not dramatic about time. You are, it's so dramatic. But there's that, you adjust the schedule and it creeps, doesn't it? These habits. And they just, it kind of just creeps. You just you're like, yeah, well, I, for a while there wasn't, I wasn't snacking at six and then, you know, then kind of an apple sounds good, but it's just an apple. It's just an apple, you know, a little almond butter, and then I could take the cracker in that almond butter, and then and then the next thing you know, you're like, you got a bag of chips. <laughs> She's like, they creep, do they not? Did that creep? I just, I just, you know, I, I just would do a little bit better if I just set the clock back, just get ten more minutes, and I won't hit this snoo snooze, and I just, I will just get a little, and then I, I kind of want to snooze, and then well, I don't need, and then all of a sudden. The workout just disappears in the morning. Well, like, you know, in 10 minutes, but maybe if I just do the, I can't, I can't get the 30 minute thing, but I can do Dr. Living, it's 10 minute thing. And then maybe if I just do the first round and then if I, <laughs> like you just start, does anyone else just do this? And you just start trimming a little bit and you're just trimming here and you're trimming there. And then your schedule is just all off. When really, if you would just go back and get your schedule in alignment, so much stuff would, would shift for you. And that probably just looks like setting the alarm and actually just sticking with it or or your bedtime or what you try to figure out in the middle of the day 
or maybe maybe a, a bigger, more obvious clock right in front of you. <laughs> so breaking a habit gets you way out of alignment. It's easier just to keep these habits, but they better be some that you like, they better be feasible, and they better not be super inconvenient in order to keep them in alignment. How about this one? This one gets you out of alignment. Fear. Fear just takes you out of alignment. You know what some of the biggest fear times that can get conjured up in today's world? This is such a weird thing that we never had to deal with like 10, year, 10 uh, uh, years ago. For sure not before that. That you could just be just like the last thing you do is you're, you're going through the feed. And then whatever was on, whatever you ate right before bed through that feed, you just can just sit here because you just saw what was going on in like 18 other areas of the world you saw the worst of the worst because good stuff isn't getting your attention to get you to stop and to get you to look and then you go to bed and you're like oh my gosh i i think hawaii is just gonna float away and we're we're bombing everyone and then we're like it's the craziest stuff sometimes that you'll ask me like are we really gonna be? i'm like what no <laughs> I wish I could give you a great example right now. Like it's just like some things that we get going on and get stewing on really late at night. Are you in that habit of putting yourself into a position of fear or maybe you need a little bit of an adjustment to just start stopping yourself. When you just take that hook, that anxiety hook, it just gets you right here. And pretty soon you're just, you're just, you're going. You just, you got the line and you're running. And you just, it just hooks you right in and you're running with the hook. And just say, out goes the line. Somebody just needs a little adjustment to reel that thing back in. Can we just get it reeled back in? Because anxiety will play this game with you. And you are weeks, months, years down the road in seconds. In your, can your brain do this too? Do you ever do this? Mine will do this. And I will just run and I got, the, I got that line and, and I'm 300 yards out already. And we're talking about a problem that could have been solved with a bobber and a hook right in front of us. And we just, or the thing that'll never even exist, it'll never come to fruition. That's just being out of alignment because we can't catch our brain and stop it from making that run. How about the, how about the, where we get out of alignment? What's getting me out of alignment? What is getting you out of alignment? Is it your success? Oh. I've, I've done this one. I've done this one. I will go really hard, achieve a goal for the reward of rest, and the rest ends up being my enemy. Because it knocks me out of the habits, it knocks me out of alignment. I was actually better if I would have stayed going hard, but sometimes my hard is just dialed up a little bit too much if I would just back off just a little bit, just 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 ride along in third or fourth gear. You don't have to slam it all the way up into fifth or into overdrive and crank the RPMs. If you would have just let them settle. Does anyone else do that? So your success, your complacency that comes with the success. I always say the biggest enemy of success is success. You'll hit a goal. You'll you'll lose that 15 pounds. But you're like, girl, you're looking good. What you been doing, man? The husband's like, oh, okay, yeah. And then and then you you start sabotaging. I'm good. I get complacent. My workout starts to drift. I start to eat a little bit. I snack a little bit here. I, I, you know what? I'm down 15. I'll go out to eat with you. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have that. You know what? I've been I've been going hard. I'm gonna have some dessert. I'm gonna and the reward sometimes that comes with the success ends up dragging you back down into that hole again. So you adjust your goals. Adjust the goals, if this is you. Hit that success, and that's why there's always a thinking about what's next. That's someone this week that's gonna be filming today. By the way, you better be doing this. Capture your story, capture your testimony. It's more for you than it would be for me to, I love viewing them, to cheer you on, and I get so much joy out of, man, I can't believe that but to speak out loud your story, to speak out loud your transformation. That's what happens in week four of the challenges. 
and you get to share that with the world, you get to encourage other people, but it encourages you a lot. But then, come Wednesday, we announce the Challenge Champion, we celebrate a Living Good Daily Award winner, and we reset right away. Get those goals, get that progress reset. How are we gonna make the next 30 days even better or add on in a different way? Adjust your goals if you find yourself out of alignment because of success, out of alignment because the complacency reached a, a level and then you just got comfortable. Time to pull the heat again. Take that hot air balloon up. You're enjoying the view too much. Pull the heat. Some of you are out of alignment because you've just plateaued. Have tried to get there and you've just, just no. I'm doing, I'm doing all the, I mean, it, you know, I haven't had sugar six, 60 days. I'm not eating, I'm all clean meat. I'm exercising four or five days, six days a week. I'm, I'm sleeping, I'm, I, my stress is, but I'm, I'm, the scale's not moving. That's the, that's the one I hear all the time. It's plateaued. Could be all kinds of areas. I don't know, I mean, just a job, it's kind of just, I don't know, well, what kind of effort are you putting in? What kind of new effort? No, oh, you know, just my relationship, my marriage, it's just kind of, I don't, I'm just frustrated with that person. I'm just, fr what kind of new effort That's good. are you putting in? Fresh effort. You can still put that same old effort into it, that don't lose that, but where's the fresh new effort? What's the next level up of it? Well, I, what do you want me to do? I cut out all the sugars, I cut out all the, all right. Maybe you're eating too much. Maybe you try the three day cleanse this week. Well, that's, that's intimidating. Then enjoy the plateau. But if you want to go up the mountain, a little higher incline. If you want to stay on the flat, you got that. You can walk at that. If you want to hit the incline, you're going to start feeling it. You're going to get a little sore. You know, so if you, like when you work out in the gym, if you haven't felt the soreness, Sometimes that's the sign. You like the soreness is the good thing that you did something that you you challenge it a little bit. Yeah. Well, then maybe you gotta get a little sore with your eating. You gotta get a little sore with your relationship. You gotta get a little. You gotta start doing some things, throwing in some things that really start to shake it up if you plateaued a little bit. So adjust your challenge. Adjust the challenge that you're throwing. Challenge the relationship a little bit. Challenge your career life a little bit. Give yourself a challenge. It's challenging to skip food for a whole day. A whole day? How about two days? How about three? It's challenging to start not having breakfast. Challenging to half-size your portions. It's challenging to go on date nights once a week. It's challenging to go back and get another degree. It's cha like challenge yourself. Adjust your challenge. So what's getting me out of alignment? Not what do I don't have, not what am I frustrated with, not the lack of resources, not what this person did, not the, that government mandate was, not what, what's getting you out of alignment? Is it your environment? You maybe need to adjust your influence. Is it your habits? You broke one, you need to adjust your schedule, get your sleep back on. Get your meal planning back together. Get your wake up time right so you can fix those habits. Because you snoozed and you pushed it out. Is fear getting you out of alignment? Then it's time to adjust your focus. Focus on what you can control. Is your success, your complacency, the rest that comes with victory getting you out of alignment? It's time to adjust your goals. Or is it the plateau, the flatland that's getting you out of alignment. Where you think you're doing better than maybe you could be doing. You need to adjust your challenge. You need help with it. That's a play on words right there because we start our new challenge on Monday. Mm -hmm. Four weeks of how are you going to challenge yourself a little bit? Where can you get a little bit sore, literally or figuratively, over this next 30 days? What's getting me out of alignment? Way more focus on that and what you don't have 
or all the things you could tell yourself. A little adjustment, influence, adjust your schedule, adjust your focus, adjust your goals, adjust your challenge. Just get a little adjustment, a little adjustment. Get you back in alignment. Any thoughts? Dear? <laughs> Dear? No. Great. Cheers. Amen. Just like a lot of, I need it. I'm just talking to myself. So it's just stuff I struggle with that I just, I like that. I like that, that, you know, you're breaking that rhythm or breaking that habit. And I think a lot of times it comes from that success or complacency that you, that you see. Those are the ones that I kind of play in between. So then I just, I work well when I challenge myself, I readjust my schedule a bit. And that's where it, that's where it can break through those plateaus and those complacency. It's not even complacent. It's not to make it sound like it's bad. Like it just you're sitting in some negative. You just want to make progress as a human being. I hope you got. I hope you got what you needed there. I don't know exactly what you needed, but you know, you know, you should know. I hope you know now. What's getting you out of alignment? That thing that throws you off habit it's a schedule thing it's a I feel like just so many people listen it's just a schedule thing it's just a you're just allowing yourself to eat after seven o'clock you're just allowing yourself to snooze you're just allowing yourself to skip the thing you're just allowing yourself to not schedule that thing in like you're just like you just need a little line if you just did that like how many combos have we had over the last 14 years where it was just a you know what, we're gonna start doing this now. And it was just a little shift in the, I'm gonna go here this time, you're gonna do this thing this time, we're gonna do this, and that just sparks. It's just, it's renewing. Make an adjustment today. A little adjustment, a little adjustment. That's what's needed to stop coming up short and then finally hit those goals or start hiking back up that mountain again. Get off the flatlands. Hold the heat again. Excited for you, peeps. Challenge starts Monday. Let's go. You want me to, are we going? Or you can just sit there and <laughs> stare at them. <laughs> that was an abrupt ending. That's it, I don't have anything else to say. Right, go, well, make go. the adjustment. Go make it a great Monday. Make the adjustment, might as well. You don't get this one back. You're not getting it back. Nope. Not getting it back. Never. All right, peeps. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is the Living Good Daily Show. If you need a place to start, there's a book right there. We'll send you one for free. That'll give you the steps to challenge yourself. And on the very next page is a trial to the lifestyle. The lifestyle gets you challenges. So if you need help getting in, you want to get it started, you feel like you need an adjustment, you want to get into a good environment, there it is. We start one week from today. We will kick it off. Crew 26. All right, peeps. Go live good.